Philly has not been. Hold on, I mean, we're breaking up. We're breaking up a little bit. I'm let my dude on the board see if we can clear it up. All right, now try. Now, now I need you to say that with the, with the most confidence in the world. You never what? I can say that with full. I say that R. Kelly has with an underage woman. I've never seen him with an underage woman. Uh, this man, this man takes care of a family. You know what I mean? It's not about. Uh, daughter or anything like that this man this man takes care of people he has a big heart and that's and that's the biggest thing i want to cross when it comes down to women underage women he, he he has not been with i've never since 2011 i've never one not one okay so since not 2011 one. you never seen him with an uh, underage lady no so I, since 2011 20 so we'll we'll only use we'll just uh reference back to 2011. So okay, the videotapes incriminating yes. the man. Come on, man. Now we we'll, talking about the, the the newer tapes that they allegedly have have recently discovered. Well, well, to be honest with you, first of all, we haven't seen these tapes. These tapes could be doctored up. These tapes could be fake. These tapes could be le leading back to the old case. I, we haven't seen the tapes. I haven't seen the tapes. And I know for a fact that these tapes are probably not accurate. Did, did you see, I got a question for you. Did you see, um, you know, did you watch the documentary? Um, yes, I actually did watch the documentary. Um, you know, our, our, our Kelly, our Kelly and his team, um, our Kelly did not watch um, and his team watched snippets of it, I, but I happened to watch the documentary just to see what's going on. And a lot of these women, Joyce Lynn Savage is like a big sister to me. This, this is this, none of this has went on with these women. I'm, I'm here to tell you, this man has never held nobody against their will. None of that. Uh, when I met Joyce Lynn Savage, she was already legal age. Mm. Wow. What about so his I don't, kids? I know that was the next thing. He was talking about how he can't do nothing because we, we pulling him away from the kids and everything like that. Did, have you ever seen his, him around his kids, spending time with his kids, anything of that nature? Jesus. I'm going to be honest. I'm a, I'm a, I can't even hear you. Hold on, Shorty. We, we got Shorty Mac on the line, R. Kelly artist. We're on Red Line Radio. Shorty, we having a little bit of a problem. I don't know if we hit a dead spot. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, we're good now. Um, so basically, would that be what was the, your question again? I'm sorry. Like, does he have have you witnessed any interaction with his kids while you've been with him? Like, because he's claiming that you know he doesn't get a chance to spend time with his kids, but it seems as though the well, the media is making it seem like he never really had an interest in it anyway. Anyway, even his wife said that. No, no, that's 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 not the case. Let me let me clear the air on that one. I've never um, seen R. Kelly with his kids, but this man talks about his kids all the time. I, I mean, this. listen, the reason why R. Kelly even took me in was because I'm like another kid to him. I'm like, I'm like, a, I'm like a son to him because he can't even see his own son. He only has one, and, and he can't even see his own son. Now, this is because I don't want to speak. I don't want to speak too much on Andrea. I, you know, I got a lot of respect for that woman. I do, but um, she will not let him see his kids, and and that's just what it is. She will not let him see his kids. She will not have let him have a relationship with his kids right now. Uh, being the fact of why, I don't know. Wow. Well, I respect, I, man. I I I definitely appreciate you calling in, Shorty, man. It's Al, man. We spoke last night, man. And like I was telling you, I, I basically got the same mentality as you got basically with it is, you know, he's innocent until proven guilty. And when it comes to these women, that's, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a grown, you know, whatever these women are doing, like I, like I told you last night, you know, everybody is responsible for their children. You know what I'm saying? So if your child, if your child is in a situation and, you know, as a parent, I know me, I'm going to do whatever I can to get yeah. that child out of that situation. Exactly. And for those parents to be, you know, letting, you know, for it to be <coughs> where it's at now and people being like, oh, these kids 
Oh, uh, he he can't, you know, he kidnapped my daughter. I can't see my daughter and stuff like that. I don't believe that. You know what I mean? I definitely don't believe that. And 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 I really do. And when I'm and I'm like you, we were just talking about the tapes. And I'm like, yo, they could show something. They could show a VHS tape, a picture. They show everything else when they get when they get new proof. They always put some type of stuff out when they get new proof. So now they got some new proof. They ain't putting nothing. They ain't putting nothing out. So like you stated, and then one of the main things that keeps tarnishing this whole situation even though he was acquitted, is that first tape. You know what I mean? That first tape is what everybody keeps going back to. And like you was like you were saying before, once you bring all this nonsense together, it you can't decipher. You can't decipher you can't decipher it. And now now everybody thinks, oh, he's molesting little girls in his house. No. These women aren't little girls. These are grown women. You know what I'm saying? The molestation tape is from years ago. So Unfortunately, because there's a lot of people out there who never even seen the first tape, who never even knew about the first tape. So when they bring up the first tape, it's like the first time for them. And their mentality is, oh, he oh, he got these kids up in the house taping them and molesting them. And I, you know what I'm saying? So it makes him out to be a demon. It makes him out to be a monster. And personally, when I seen him on, I watched the whole interview with him and I watched the one with the, uh, with the young lady. And I mean, honestly... It just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, you know, they even said they self, like, yo, that's, you know, we in a relationship, we good, he take care of us. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm riding with him until I, until, until, until it facts, until they see, until I see some, some new. So, sh tape. shorty, my, shorty, we want, we want to get that's your final shouting. thoughts. We want to get your final thoughts, man. If there's one thing that you could leave our listeners with in reference to the R. Kelly situation, what would it be? What it would be is this. Um, I'm not here to, to tell any lies. I'm not here to do any of that. If I was, if I, if I, I don't, I don't get paid for this to represent R. Kelly to go out and say all of this. R. Kelly actually promised me before he went to jail. He said, "Promise me that you will not get on any social media that you will not defend me because I don't want anything to happen to your name." And I said, "Rob, I said I don't think I can do that because it's time to tell the truth." Um, what I want people to leave with today is that Rob is a man. It's, it's, it's Rob is a man, but he is not a monster. Um, all, the, all of these allegations, this I will say this. He's made mistakes just like anybody else. Ain't nobody perfect. But these allegations are not true. And I'm here to tell you because I've been there firsthand since 2011. I've been in every house with him since then, touring around the world. He's never even raised his voice at a woman. I just want the interview that he did. He, he was very emotional. Um, you know, he can't see his kids. There's a lot of buttons that they're trying to press. And, you know, he has not really said anything. So he really just had a mental breakdown. And that's that's normal. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, you know, but I want the power to stop. That's, that's all I want is the lies to stop. Joyce on Savage is like a big sister to me. And 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 it's just ridiculous that it's come to this when a lot of this stuff is not true. All right, man. Well, I, man, we... Yeah, we appreciate you calling in today. Really appreciate Thank it, bro. you, bro. And, uh, and you I know, think... If you ever need to reach out, man, if you ever got anything to say, man, definitely reach out to us, bro. We'll definitely right, have we'll all always here. give you a platform, Shorty. For sure. I definitely will, guys. I really want to appreciate you for having me. Thank oh, you man. for calling appreciate in, you for man. Calling in, man. You have a good day, bro. You too, man. All Thanks, right, Shorty. Please. Thank you. That was Shorty Matt, R. Kelly artist, chiming in about the R. Kelly situation. That was a lightweight exclusive. That was exclusive. On, uh, the, that was exclusive, exclusive. On the yes. Smart Alex yes. podcast, we did that. Nobody else did. So you Nobody know, else in the city did nobody that. Nobody else in the city did that, so you no. guys can sweat us later. <laughs> But um, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. It was a great show, action-packed as always. We want to thank G Vaughn for coming in. I want to thank the queen, all hail the queen. She's a queen to be. I want to thank Passionate Al and my man, Kaden. What's up, Kaden? Say hi. Hi. I want to thank them for stopping in. I want to thank the young professor for being on the board. Always, always, you know. On the, one, on the ones and twos. On the ones DJ and twos. DJ Kid <laughs> Professor.
Yeah, and I, and I and I want to give a shout out to uh my man Jace for listening. Thanks for listening, little guy. I'll be with you in a little while. All right, all right. Also, awesome I want to thank ride. I want to thank myself awesome for coming out. I could have been anywhere in the world, but I chose to 